I'd like to share something that has nothing to do with Sarshnir. I'd like to share something that has everything to do with Sarshnir. When you're involved in cloud work, you feel a lot of siyat de jishmaya, God's help. And I feel that this five minutes on your dome, specifically about Sarshnir, is an example of that. I had a conversation with someone, an old friend, an acquaintance, who in the last five years or so, 10 years, founded a wonderful girls' high school in a major Jewish center. And we were speaking about something totally, totally unrelated. I was calling the Shlichus Rosh Hashiva about a totally unrelated topic. And he launched into talking to me about his school, telling me how wonderful it was, how much their mashkia, how much they put into every programming to make their school great, to give these wonderful Jewish girls, an amazing experience. Why do I share this with you? Because another part of his conversation. He told me that he was thinking about founding the school and he was talking to community leaders about the importance, and it's a very firm place, of making a great school for girls. They didn't get it. These community leaders just didn't get it. Now, what do we mean by community leaders? I don't mean selfish people. I don't mean politicians. I don't mean tycoons who are making money. We're talking about people who are dedicated to the Jewish community. People who are dedicated to the Jewish community. People who spend their lives thinking about what's good for Klai Yisrael, about doing things. And when this intelligent fellow spoke to them about making a great girl school, they didn't get it. What's it all about? What's wrong with what exists? My friends, that means that the message of Sarshnir, the lesson of Sarshnir, the life of Sarshnir hasn't penetrated deeply enough into our Orthodox world. Do we think our daughters today aren't struggling? It's not the same challenges for sure as Sarshnir's time. People aren't falling to the intellectualism of Europe, they're not running after socialism, secular Zionism, as they were in the 20s and 30s. They're not leaving in, in mass the ways of their fathers, but they're struggling today also. Think about it, let's open our eyes to consumerism, to shallowism, to not knowing what Sneas is all about, ism, to not knowing what it means to be a Bas Melech, ism to not knowing why they're important in the world and why they have such a crucial role in Klai Yisrael. Let's wake up together. I truly hope that this short video can get past the few hundred very hush of people that are part of our groups and help him and all the other dedicated people who are trying to put Chinech Abanis where they are, where it should be. And, and trying to uplift it and give it its proper place, how can we let the life of Sar Shnir, which everybody knows how central she was, it's in the consciousness. If you ask that community leader, what was Sar Shnir? He'll say, oh, she was a matzo klyosaur, she did great things. If she did great things, who would she do great things for? And who do we have to keep doing great things for? So Bezrat Hashem, let's Take that message together. Put Chinech as the Shaykh as is possible in our hearts, our minds, and our actions. And Bezod Hashem will see a greater Jewish future.